It's a happy day here at Simple and this is Chef Tato at magluluto naman tayo ng isang simple but very festive dish today. Ready na ba kayo? Let's get cooking! Simple, simple, luto na ha ha Today we're making something very festive. It's American meatloaf. Unlike the Filipino meatloaf which we know as embutido, this one is much more simpler to make and I'm sure you will also enjoy this. The most important ingredient in this recipe is the ground meat. So here we use ground beef. No? So we're using one kilo of ground beef. And very important when you're working with you know ground meat is for it to have a little bit of fat. Kasi kung wala siyang fat, it's gonna dry out easily. So sometimes sa sinasabi natin na bakit ang dry dapat da, bakit ang parang ang bland ng flavor, it's because it lacks fat. So fat is very important especially with working with ground meat. And in this case to make it special, instead of just adding pork fat into our ground beef, I am using bacon, fatty bacon just to add so much flavor to what I'm doing. So I have here some bacon strips and what I will do is to just chop it up, no? So, when we're eating our uh, meatloaf, mangyayari is we will get also that smoky, salty flavor of bacon. Yan. So, I have my diced bacon. I'll just add it here to my ground beef. So, I'll just use my hands and I will season my beef with salt. So, I'm using here one tablespoon of salt and one tablespoon of cracked black pepper. So it's kind of peppery. So we want our meatloaf no, to be very meaty, but also very juicy. Just combine yeah, and clean up. Secondly, after mixing the meat, I will prepare my vegetables to add flavor. No? I can just mix it directly, but what I'm doing I just want to bring out the flavor much more. So, I'm sauteing with a little bit of olive oil and butter. Yeah, I'm just melting some butter. I saute my onions. My carrots. Minced carrots. You can also grate it no, if you, if you want to make it more easier. And celery. And now I'm adding my garlic. Yeah. So why am I adding my garlic class? Because I don't want the flavor of garlic to be too prominent in this recipe. So I just want to, you know, cook it for a little moment, just until it becomes a little bit, you know, tender. And here I'm adding some dry herbs. I'm just using a mix of dried uh, basil, parsley, and a little thyme. So you can make your own concoction of, you know. Uh, herbs and spices you want to add. So as soon as that's done, turn it down, let it rest. And now I will move on to the third part which is my binder. I have breadcrumbs. I have cream. So the breadcrumbs are around 3 4 cups. One cup of cream. So this will, uh, you know, make my meatloaf juicy. Very nice and juicy. And two eggs. Combine that, and here, I will add my sautéed vegetables, okay? And combine. Look. So what we want to do is we want the bread to absorb the moisture. We don't want the bread to be dry, no? So what we're doing, we just let it rest for a while for it to, you know, cool down more. And now, what are we going to do? We're just going to combine the two. Let's put it in. So we already know that our, you know, beef is well seasoned. We also season the vegetables. But I have to season the egg and the cream as well. Okay, so I'll just season it. I'll mix it together. Yeah, look at that. Sobrang sarap nito for parties. And... You see that the mixture has become sticky already, and that's done. Now, we don't want to overmix it. I have a pan, and I just lined it with a little bit of 
um, aluminum foil. So, what we are doing today is a free-form meatloaf. So, ibig sabihin, hindi na natin siya ilalagay sa loaf pan. But we'll just put it here and shape it with our hands. Um, for people who don't have ovens, you can actually steam this if you want. Or you can cook it like a burger steak. You just make patties. But here, in this case, I'm going to bake it in my oven. Yan. For a party dish. So, for example, kakain mo, you have a guest of mga 10 people or... More than 10 people. This is good enough. Freeform. Look at that. Very simple. Use your hands to. So we're making some sort of like a 4 by 10 loaf. So look at that. I already have my meat loaf shaped up. Yan. And I'm going to work on my glaze. So the glaze is so simple. I am just using tomato ketchup. Around half a cup of tomato ketchup. And around a tablespoon of Worcester sauce. Okay? Just combine that and using your spoon or a brush, you can just like spread it around. So, ito na yung magiging glaze. So, it's gonna have like a barbecue-ish kind of flavor outside. Wow, sobrang sarap. Sobrang easy to do. And it's done. And this uh, meatloaf is kind of a big meatloaf. So this is around like 12 inches by 5 inches, no? Medyo malaki siya. I preheated my Breville Smart Oven to 220 degrees and I set the timer to 45 minutes. I'll check on it and it's in the middle rack so it cooks evenly. Yeah. And I just wait for it and I'll just check if it's done and it will be ready to serve. So I'd like to check on my meatloaf. Eh, it's very, you know, mabango here in my kitchen. Smells so good and it, I'm getting hungry. So I'm gonna check on it if it's already done. It's been cooking for 42 minutes. And let's check on it. Beautiful glaze. Look at that. Beautiful color. Wow. Just check. And it's already cooked. Mm. Look at that. Oh my God. Ang sarap niya. And I'm sure, guys, you're going to love it. Your family is going to enjoy digging into this. So you have to let it rest for a few minutes, like 10 to 15 minutes, before moving it into a serving platter. In this case, I'm ready to dig in. I just have a plate ready for myself. I have some mashed potatoes. And, of course, two slices for me. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that. So beautiful. That was a good meatloaf. Ang sarap niya. It's meaty, it's smoky, and also the ketchup glaze. Sobrang sarap ng tanginess na nawawala yung umay mo sa kakain ng meat. So try this at home. I'm sure kaya kaya yung uh, lutuin to. Basta simple. Here it is, our version of American Meatloaf Simple! Did you enjoy this video? Please follow and subscribe to our official pages. And of course, tag a friend as well.